Well, what we're studying is a diet known as calorie restriction, which has been known for over 70 years to slow down the aging process in, in virtually every organism that's ever been tested on, um, even monkeys. And we're trying to understand what the processes are that, that make these animals live so long. And actually, we, we now know that they live long because they're protected against diseases of aging, like heart disease and cancer and even Alzheimer's. And what we've just discovered is uh, a set of genes, uh, in fact, two of them, that seem to be quite important for mediating this response. And by that, I mean we've discovered two genes, one called SIRT3 and one called SIRT4, that together seem to protect cells against the ravages of time, um, in fact, cell damaging processes like DNA damage. These two genes, SIRT3 and SIRT4, they make proteins that go into mitochondria. So what are mitochondria? These are the, the little energy packs inside our cells that, that are very important for staying healthy and youthful. And as we age, we lose them and that they get less efficient. And these two proteins, 33 and 34, seem to be very important for controlling the energy that they make. But also we've discovered they're also very important for keeping the cells healthy and alive when they undergo stress or DNA damage as we experience every day during the aging process. So mitochondria, these little energy packs, are turning out to be extremely important in the aging process. And it's important to keep them energetically active as well as more youthful. And these two genes, 33 and 34, seem to be very important for that process. What we've also discovered is what we call the mitochondrial oasis hypothesis. And this is the, the idea that as long as you keep these little organelles, as they're called, healthy and alive, the rest of the cells surrounding them can actually be energetically dead, depleted of molecules, important molecules like ATP and NAD. So this is really, the, the, these are the gatekeepers of cell survival and health, we think. And that the genes that we're studying now seem to be very crucial for maintaining the viability of the entire cell. So we've actually found that if you keep them viable, these little mitochondria, the rest of the cell could be dead, but that you can rescue these cells. And it could be very important for treating diseases like neurodegeneration and even cancer. The long-term goal of the research is to treat diseases of aging. And by that term, I mean diseases like heart disease, cancer, osteoporosis, uh, even things like cataracts. And really what we're aiming to do is to find the body's natural processes that can slow down aging and treat these diseases. And we think we've found some of the key genes now that control this process. What we hope to do eventually is to make drugs small molecules that you could take orally, take a pill every day, that would prevent, and we also think treat, many of these diseases that I just mentioned. And this would be a different way of, of treating these diseases. Normally, you take one pill for this disease and one pill for that disease. What we're talking about is potentially having one pill that, that prevents and even cures many diseases at once. And that's the ultimate goal of what we're working on here.